<laughs> yeah, we talked about that bug chasing shit like years ago. Ooh. There are some just I'm not going to get into it because I read some stuff from some forums about bug chasing. If you look around online, you can find forums from like 2006, 2007. Everyone there is posting is clearly dead by now. But <laughs> I was like, about to say, how many is, users are still active? It's like it's people just making post after post, like whole accounts. And you know how you go on a forum about woodworking and it'll be like Sammy Woodworker posts 8,000 joined mm -hmm. 2002. This shit would be like. 35,000 posts joined 99 and all of them are like got my 976th guy paused up today just got a um an, an uh, IRC chat from him that he Wait, was you know positive so these guys are infecting people bug I thought bug chasers wanted to be infected these guys it was are two sides yeah. of the same coin so yeah, there were people you have to have an there. infector yeah and an infectee were, yeah, there were people on there who were like, please, I want AIDS so bad. And there were oh. other people who were like, hey, I'm just handing out AIDS here. Any of you guys familiar this, with Continuum Magazine? It this should be like a crime. crime. Yeah. It should be a crime. You guys will like this. Uh, in the early 90s, there was a magazine called Continuum, and it was sort of like an LGBT news magazine. And this was like in the height of the AIDS crisis. Nobody knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. And they just sort of like denied that HIV existed and ran a whole bunch of sort of pseudoscience articles. And the whole people uh, behind it were real believers. The magazine shut down in February 2001 when all of the editors died of HIV. Mm. That's, I mean poetic you know yeah <laughs> kind of like our <laughs> leopards ate my face Shocking. i mean was there like uh was there like eight guys in the writer room and like six months later there's two guys and they're like i don't know like <laughs> they all did seem pretty agey oh and, oh, and it was just like a thinning out you just it just less and less every day you know yeah i got a cold oh, it, and i was crippled for three weeks because my immune system's dead <laughs> zach pointed out that um knowingly and intentionally um, transmitting AIDS is definitely a crime. I knew that, but I was even saying that like, maybe like intentionally getting it and then being a strain on like your insurance oh. provider or the healthcare system in general or <clears throat> whatever, you know, should seems criminal to me. It, it's like, I don't know if I, if I'm hurting myself, like it seems like insurance fraud, right? Like, like I get to, it. To do that. I, I think, should you be allowed Somehow, to give someone I, AIDS if they consent? I well, feel that's like, like the German cannibal. The, the guy that that's consented to though. being eaten. He consented to being eaten and also ate part of himself. So, yeah, so if you, can, I if think you consent I was to being okay eaten, with that. I'm okay with that. I was yeah. okay with that. But, but, but because I don't have to, well, let's, it was in Germany, so it wouldn't matter anyway. <laughs> I'm not responsible anyway. But, but, you know, like, we're not having to foot the bill for this burial, I would assume, because that's the aftermath of this. But if someone nah, is like, because th then then the next step to that is like, well, uh, people who are skydiving, playing collision sports, I don't people know, who are overweight. Well, you, who I was going to say you're getting like, dangerously you could draw close the line to, anywhere. Like the no, people, the anti-vaxxers. No, like, should line. we treat anti-vaxxers at the hospital? It's sounding kind of like that. We should treat them differently. Yeah, everybody should get treated at the hospital. Jesus Christ! Oh, Everyone should, should not treat people differently. It's gotta... triage. It's called triage. It's a. It's like. A cornerstone of, of, well, of medicine. that's if there's like a, a disaster tour like you have to choose who like lives and who dies like yeah like well we there were hospitals <laughs> that literally went to triage mode and doctors did have to decide who gets treatment and not but broadly there's a movement of people clowns i believe that want to deny health care to people that don't vaccinate and i'm uh, more of a believer in that everybody gets equal access as long as they mm. can in a disaster that gets more complicated how about this though how about this mm. though why should their insurance provider have to cover their uh hospital stay if this person is refusing to get vaccinated it's like easily preventable it's it's it, no, it doesn't not make... no it's people tons of vaccinated people get COVID. Sure, but but it's not near the hospitals. You could do some easy math, right? The hospital stays a lot less expensive for those that were vaccinated versus. Um, what's uh, what's the burden like? Like uh, obese people, is it about the same as the unvaccinated? You're, you're, you're preaching to the choir. You, you yeah, I'm glad you agree with me. We should get them lumped into this too. I'm saying you don't want to draw no any lines. Intended. The people, the people who want to no, skydive, you, if they Taylor. shatter their legs, Fat they people. need to be okay. Skydivers are okay. No, you're wrong about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying take they should take away. care of them. How are they going to like risk their life again if their legs are shattered? Put those things back together. Shattered legs is the last there. thing you're worried about skydiving. You turn into a pancake if it goes wrong. Yeah, if Look, it goes wrong and you end up with shattered legs, that was a really good wrong trip for skydiving. <laughs> you know. All right, all right. Like, like, maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. I don't know. I just don't. I I I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I feel like uh, if you're unvaccinated. Um, I don't know. Like, like maybe you just go to a different line, Taylor. 
See, see, I, it's separate so? but equal. You're okay with that, right? No. Oh, God. You were, you're separate always equal. saying that. Separate but equal. Yeah. Equals, separate <laughs> equals. <laughs> I know like, one thing about Taylor is that he approves of separate. <laughs> but now where it applies to you, do the math. <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> now, now suddenly Taylor's Dude, involved. He's imagine if like that was, okay. Im imagine if that was one of my like, Hardcore over the years beliefs separate but equal. <laughs> like, you know, but all of a sudden most he's things, separated from separate the equal. But equal. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I'm 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 teasing. We we should treat oh, everybody course. the same because uh, when we start drawing lines, uh, uh, first of all, who draws the lines? Right. We're gonna get Insurance a committee companies. together and start figuring out who draws the lines. Fuck all those people. No lines get drawn. Everybody yeah. gets treated the same. All jokes aside. <laughs>